What's up, guys? Gary Gilgan here from BoycottTheDollar.com. Just wanted to make another tutorial video for you guys today. Uh, yesterday, I made a video on how to set up all of your accounts, all the major accounts, your Coinbase account, your Kraken account, and your Poloniex account. <clears throat> Uh, this is essentially how you can get into the game of cryptocurrencies, how you can start buying cryptocurrencies, uh, how to set up the underlying infrastructure, essentially you setting up your own crypto bank. In this video, I am going to show you guys how to get a debit card. A uh, big thing, a big question I get asked from a lot of people is once you buy Bitcoin, let's say if you buy a Bitcoin at a dollar and it goes up to a hundred dollars, well, how do I spend the money? How do I get the money out? All those different types of things. You know, there's a few different options. You can, through Coinbase, you can sell the, the Bitcoin and you can just have the money transferred right into your bank account. Or for me, a much more convenient way is just getting a debit card. Just the same as your bank's debit card, you can go out and buy gas and groceries, go out to dinner, you can even use it in an ATM and get, you know, $2,000 cash per day out of your Coinbase account, at least for the uh, uh, card I'm going to show you today. There's two cards I'm going to be showing you guys today how to set up and how to get these debit cards. The first is called a shift card this is a debit card that connects directly to your coinbase account and you can spend your your bitcoins just like cash the second card i'm going to show you guys is called a bit pay card this is another wallet similar to coinbase but it they have their own card integrated into the system so very simple um, and just a little caveat I want to throw out there because I'm also getting this uh, comment or question a lot. There are a lot of wallets out there. Okay. And I personally, I use a lot of wallets. I have a lot of wallets and there are, there are a lot and it can be overwhelming. This, uh, this space uh, that you're getting into cryptocurrencies, there's a learning curve. It's like the internet. It's like when you when smartphones first came out. You know, I remember back when I got my very first iPhone. You know, and if there's a learning curve, and the same with cryptocurrencies, the same with all of these technologies. There's a learning curve. Um, the good thing about it is that because you've had all this training with the internet and setting up your Facebook account and putting pictures on Facebook and doing all these different types of things, it's trained you so that now the learning curve to really learn how to use these technologies is very simple and it's the, the, the learning curve is very short. So it can be overwhelming at first, but just be persistent, keep playing around with it and you'll learn just how simple it really is. So I'm going to share my screen with you guys and I'm going to walk you guys through how to simply go and get your coin, uh, your ship card and your BitPay card. So let's have some fun. So I'm going to move this screen down here is first I have to adjust my stuff a little bit here. So first we go to Coinbase. I've already logged into my Coinbase account, the one I set up yesterday. So as you can see, I still haven't completed this account because this is just a mock account that I'm using for educational purposes. Although now that I think about it, I actually probably will go and set it up all the way to show you guys how to transfer funds, things like that. Because I'm still waiting for my Kraken account to be verified so that I can make a video for you guys on how to buy altcoins like the Ripple, the Gollum, the Dogecoin, all these other cryptocurrencies that, you know, they have really good upside potential. Um, and so you're going to want to have those. You're going to want to diversify rather than just being in one coin. So I've got that account uh, all pulled up for you. So then we're going to go to Google. I'll back up with just a little bit more. Actually, we'll just Google it real quick. Go to Google, type in shift, shift card, boom, okay. Second one down because Wells Fargo with their paid ad, they're trying to be number one. So shift card, just click that shift payments. You know, this is they're going to pull up some, some – uh, HTML code or something. You don't really have to worry about that stuff. Just click shift card up here in the right hand corner. It's going to take you to this page. Connect to Coinbase. Then it's going to go into Coinbase. Very simple. Authorize shift card to access your Coinbase account. 
just like all the apps that you run that ask you to connect to your Facebook account, this is the similar, okay? You'll be redirected to shift payments authorized after the authorization, reviewing permissions, debit money from your account without two-step verification, view your email address, buy Bitcoin, so all these different types of things. Access your account information, so on and so forth. So what this is telling me is that this card, the shift card I'm getting is going to be attached to my Bitcoin wallet. If I go back to here, you can go to accounts, and these are all the wallets that I have set up right now. So I have a, a Bitcoin wallet, an Ethereum wallet, a Litecoin wallet, and then a Bitcoin vault. This is gonna be cold storage, and I'm gonna make a video on this telling you guys about how to store your coins offline for further protection, further security. But as you can see, I have, I don't carry, I don't keep any money, this is a mock account. So the, the debit card's gonna debit out of that Bitcoin wallet. So I'm gonna authorize, I'm gonna allow the shift card to access my Coinbase account and all that stuff, so unverified, oh boy. Oh boy, shoot. Shift was unable to verify that your Coinbase account is eligible because, because I have not verified my account. Okay, so for educational purposes, guys, like I said, maybe I'll remake this video, but again, this is stuff is just so straightforward that uh, you know, once you watch these videos and you watch me go through it and do the steps, you're going to see just how simple it is. If someone, if someone like me can do it, anybody can do it. I mean, I got my business partner right here. He knows when it comes to computers and technology, I don't know how to use this stuff, you know, but to me, this is super easy. So once your account is verified, once you go through your Coinbase and you do all these steps, you add a payment method, you add a bank account, a debit card, a credit card, you add your phone number, you send them a picture of your driver's license, things like that. Once your account is verified, then that's only then are you able to get a shift card. Remember, this account is, is just a mock account, so I haven't verified anything. I haven't set it up as a full-fledged working account. Therefore, I can't get a shift card through it. But you will be able to. Saying right there, have you verified your identity with Coinbase? No, I have not. So obviously, it's not going to let me get a card. But you can go ahead and do that, set that up, and then you're done. They're going to send it to you in the mail. It's just like a debit card you get through the bank. And the best part about it is, boom, you can start spending right away. Start using that, the Bitcoin for all of your purchases. <clears throat> Okay, so the next one I'm gonna show you guys, again, let's go to Google. It's called BitPay. Okay, so you're gonna to go to BitPay, bitpay.com, and that's just another, another wallet, so you know the score, so right here, sign up. Okay, I'm going to, I'm just gonna click sign up and see what it does, because I don't wanna set up a, a business account. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna go back real quick to show you guys what I did. So they're giving me two options. They don't actually give you the option of setting up an individual account. They, it's either set up a business account or set up a BitPay card account, okay? Get a BitPay card account, turn your Bitcoin into dollars, so on and so forth. So you're gonna click this, boom. Click on that. Okay, get started. So you know my email, boycott the dollar at Gmail, okay, what country do I live in? United States, okay, do I have a Bitcoin wallet? I'm gonna say no, I don't, I need to get one. Okay, but actually, hold on, hold the phone. Let's say yeah, I do. <coughs> Let's see if it will let me connect to my So let me connect to my Coinbase. So no, it's only gonna let you uh, connect to a BitPay wallet. So let's go ahead and set, those, set one of those up. So actually, I'm gonna go back again. Okay, get started. So boy caught the dollar at Gmail. Live in the United States. No, I need a wallet. OK, 
Okay, get a wallet. Okay, so now this is going to be, this is a different type of wallet compared to Coinbase, whereas Coinbase is like a, Coinbase is a virtual wallet, okay, whereas right now it's looking like the BitPay, because I actually, I only have BitPay on my phone, I don't have BitPay uh, through the computer here, so right here, I'm going to have to go to the Apple Store, and it is, okay, so now I'm finding out even more, is that BitPay is a, it's a virtual, it's an, it's an app. It's an app wallet that you store on your phone. So nobody, you can't get access. You can't actually start it up from online. You're going to have to download it on your phone. Once you have it downloaded on your phone, then you can sync up the BitPay card. So let's go through this again. So now, so now let me back up and let me reiterate. Okay. You're going to want to go. Here's my phone right here. I'm going to go to the app store. I'm going to search BitPay. Okay, I already have a BitPay account. So I already have a wallet. So you're just, you know how to set up an app. So just go set up the app, you know, easy as pie. Once it's all set up and verified, like the Coinbase. Okay, so now you see my screen here. Do I have a, Bit, a Bitcoin wallet? Yes, I do. Okay. So let's say my first name is Gary. My last name is Gilgan. My address. Birthday, June. Take note of my birthday. Um, it's coming up. If you want to send me anything, I've had my eye on this uh, Hermes um, cigar ashtray if you want to get that for me you can go on ebay and google it i want the one with the tiger on it uh, really nice ashtray that i'd like to get i don't smoke cigars but i want somewhere to put my keys and my change so oh wait wait, wait. i'm not i'm not gonna put my social security number in there with all you guys watching holy crap that'd be crazy so anyways just follow the instructions you know, continue to payment this to get this card. You're going to have to pay uh, $9.95 and you can only pay with Bitcoin. So again, you have to, th there are steps to this process. Again, this is your, this is a learning curve. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our wallets. So for all of these videos to make sense. Now, the first video I showed you how to set up your Coinbase wallet. I showed you how to set up an account with Kraken and Poloniex, which are two exchange uh, accounts. And then this fourth wallet, that, the, excuse me, the second wallet, but the fourth account that I'm talking to you guys about today is called BitPay. That's another wallet. Um, it's actually a more secure wallet, in my opinion, even to Coinbase. Coinbase is a, it's a wallet slash exchange, whereas BitPay is just a wallet. It's not an exchange where you can buy and trade coins and things like that. It's just a safe and secure wallet. So once you have your Coinbase and your BitPay set up, verified, and there's actually, there's at least $10 in Bitcoin in your BitPay, then you come to here, come to this site, fill out this information, click continue to payment, pay $9.95, $9.95 for the, uh, the, the, the card, complete the order, same thing. They're gonna send it to you in the mail, comes in about seven to 10 business days, you get it, you activate it, you start spending whatever Bitcoin that you have stored in the BitPay wallet. Okay, those are the two most common, most powerful, the, 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 the strongest two debit cards. There's, there's probably 10 or so, give or take, debit cards out there that you can use to spend your Bitcoin, but these are the two most popular. These are the two safest. These are the two most widely accepted. So these are the two that I would advocate getting if you want to get into the crypto scene and you want to start spending your crypto like cash, these are the two to get. So very simple. First step, set up your account. Second step, go get the cards. Third step, go to Disneyland, start spending that money. So.
I hope that this was uh, informational. If you have any questions at all, I know that uh, you know I was kind of back and forth because I I'd never set up a BitPay account online. I'd always set everything up through my phone. I primarily do all of my crypto business through my phone. Uh, that's just another beautiful thing about technology and the era that we live in that you know I can do all my business. I run multi-million dollar businesses through my phone. You know, how cool is that? But if you have any questions, leave a comment. You know my email address, boycottthedollar at gmail.com. Got some good stuff coming up for you ahead, some more good informational videos. If you need help at all, I'm just an email away. So I hope that you get in, because either get in now and potentially make a fortune, or get in later when everybody else does, but I guarantee you, I give you the Gary Gilgan guarantee, you're gonna get into crypto, you're gonna be using virtual currency, whether it's now or whether it's in the future, you're gonna be using it. So I hope this video was of value to you. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you on the next video. See you later.